Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, 11.30 in the a.m. <clears throat> we just left Hera's Rincon. Uh, we came after the uh, tournament, the Omaha, the horse tournament, actually, on uh, Tuesday. We came here for three nights, and uh, we just checked out right now. Uh, I did little to no recording. So I didn't feel like it. Um, I just wanted to relax. And I uh, came by myself. I'm, I'm Genevieve free this trip. Woohoo! <laughs> no snoring, no nothing. And I finally got more than two and a half hours of sleep. You know? I didn't have to wake up 15 times in the middle of the night. I'm like, bitch, shut up! And throw a pillow at her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Anyways, uh, checked out right before checkout. While I was uh, getting ready and stuff in the morning, Damon calls me, and he's like, "Yo, Morongo just uh, opened up its new poker room. Come on down." I'm like, "Man, I'm at Harris. I'm in San Diego County. I'm like two hours away." And he goes, so what? Come on down. I go, man, I've been here three days and I want to go home and stuff. He goes, I'll get you a hotel room the whole weekend. He goes, just come down. We got some fabulous promotions, double jackpots, this, that, and the other. And I was like, how can you say no out of that offer? You know, free rooms for the weekend at Morongo, poker all week, probably dinner and everything else comped. And then uh, I was like, all right, I'll be there. <laughs> And I was like thinking right now, I was like, you know what, I'm pretty uh, fortunate. I don't like to say blessed, I like to say fortunate that uh, I have some of the friends that I do, <clears throat> you know, whether it be times like this or going to the wild card of the Dodgers game or going out for Super Bowl in a presidential suite or, you know, being an extra in a CNN terrorist show, <laughs> whatever it was called declassified, you know, these are all people I've met at the uh, poker table, or gambling, I should say, poker table, or at the casinos, and stuff like that, I made uh, friends with them, and it's nice to have friends in uh, high places sometimes, it has its perks, and uh, you just gotta remember to uh, remain grateful for all the things that life gives us, we're always quick to complain when shit goes south, but very rarely uh, we give thanks when uh, things go well, so, I was just thinking about that right now, I was just like, hey, you know, it's not a bad offer, if everything's free, comped, why not, you know, I don't have to pay for anything, so, nice, um, ended up losing uh, 500 bucks at Harrah's for the three days that I was here, slots were just brutal, I was chasing... I think the biggest miner I've ever seen at Tencent Dinam on Ultimate Firelink, it was like twelve, almost thirteen hundred dollars on Tencent Dinam. You know, it starts at four hundred, so that shit been there for a while. And I, I sat there and I chased it with four and six dollar bets, even went to ten dollar bets too. Just nothing doing, absolutely nothing. So. We lost quite a bit in the slots, but we made money at roulette. And I just keep thinking, why do I continue to play slots? <laughs> I go, I'm making money playing roulette. I make money playing the double deck blackjack most of the time <clears throat> at Pachanga and just playing poker. I, I gotta just stay away from slots. It just eats up your bankroll. You know, like my buddy Engie always says, I saw him last night too we, at Starbucks. We had a chat. About some stuff. Very nice guy. Every time I talk with him, I like NG more and more. He's very humble and, and very nice. He actually bought me uh, an egg sandwich. <laughs> he was standing behind me and he goes, Life of a gambler. And I turn around, I see it's him. And I'm like, Hey, what's up? And we started chatting and uh, he said he had a winning trip here. And uh, we got to the head of the line and he pulled out his red card, I think that's the, high, that's the highest card you can get here, and then uh, the girl's like, 
what would you have? And I was like, everything. He's buying. And I made a joke and I started laughing. And he's like, no, I got it. I got you. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> so I just ordered an uh, egg sandwich and uh, that was it. He was like, get more. He goes, take stuff home with you. He goes, I got a million points out here. He goes, I can buy whatever I want. <laughs> and I was like, no, I'm not that type of person. Just one sandwich is enough for me. So uh, thanks, NG. I know you're probably not going to watch this, but thanks. Uh, yeah, we sat and chat for like five, ten minutes. and uh, <clears throat> Very nice guy. Like I said, I like him more and more every time I, uh, I, I talk to him. Very down to earth, and we we're talking about our Mercedes Benzes. He has a Benz. He has a big boy Benz, S580, and he's like, "Bro, I've had the car for three months. I put seventeen thousand miles on." I was like, "Fuck, <laughs> seventeen thousand in three months? Shit, you're on your way of putting sixty-eight thousand miles in one year on that poor car." And like I said, this this car is expensive to maintain. Actually, it's. 500 miles overdue for its service and that's a 500 dollars that's coming out of my pocket minimum for the fucking service 500 dollars for oil change and inspections and shit like that and uh the, like i said you guys know that the the tires with this car i go through tires on this car like freaking strippers go through thongs i swear i mean it's just unreal I don't know. These are Pirellis, too. It's not like cheap tires. I'm putting quality tires. 10,000 miles. The guy's like, yeah, you need more new tires. I'm like, fuck. <clears throat> so I can imagine him. This is a C-Class. He has an S-Class. So <laughs> I can just imagine what his cost is. So anyways, that was our trip. Uh, like I said, slots were brutal. Roulette was good. And um, I slept okay <clears throat> for once. So not a bad trip. 500 bucks is nothing for three days um, and we're on our way to uh, Morongo for another t two more days maybe who knows so I didn't bring enough clothes I gotta either buy some clothes or do some laundry somewhere <laughs> we'll see what happens but uh, I'm gonna record in the new poker room over there uh, I think the poker room went from like eight tables. Uh, it moved from the casino, the main casino, to the smaller one, Casino Morongo. <clears throat> and uh, they have like 23 or 24 tables. Damon just uh, sent me a picture of the uh, waiting list. And it's huge already at 11.30 because uh, of all the promos that they got going. And I was like joking with him. like, do you, do you know anyone that can get us to the top of the board, the top of the list? <laughs> So he's like, yeah, don't worry. I'll take care of everything. Just come on down. So that's where we're going to be at. I'll uh, see if I get some footage of us at the table. If it's a friendly table, live table, we're going to be playing poker at least all day today and probably all day tomorrow. Who knows about Sunday? We'll see. But uh, stay tuned. It should be fun. I very, very rarely record from Morongo. I never go there. But uh, we're going to be there for three days and we're going to do a Two, two days and we're going to do a room uh, review. Rooms are very nice and uh, hopefully we win some of these promos that they got going. Okay, so see you guys. Finally made it to uh, Morongo and there's a huge event going on. They got the stage and they got this uh, spin the wheel garbage. I don't know what they're winning, gas and stuff like that, but it's a look. You got all these people waiting in line and that's the wheel and then this is the new poker room. Woohoo, we get balloons. Let's see if we can go find Damon. Notice this area is being used for social media. It is now. Look at this. Alright, go. What's all this waiting for? Bingo. Alright, this is a new poker room. Let's see if we can find Damon anywhere. Look at this degenerate. These San Manuel low lives are over here. Don't you guys have anywhere to go? It smells like fresh paint. Let's see, where is Damon? I don't see him anymore. Wow, look at all these people from old San Manuel Poker. Where is he? It's like, where's Waldo? <laughs> where's this guy?
Hey, what's up, Randy? What's going I'm on, buddy? How are you? I'm good. Waiting like you. This. Where's the Omaha game? There it is in the corner. All right. Yeah, it's worse. Look at this waiting list. <laughs> 98 people are on the waiting list for 4 8. <laughs> it's going to be a while. <laughs> Standing in line to spin that wheel, I go fuck it, why not? Because uh, poker's not opening up anytime soon. <laughs> so I go fuck it. The only thing we want on there is gas. <laughs> Everything else is pretty much useless. Bingo, ten dollar slot player. Well, they got twenty five slot player or a shirt. So we're hoping for gas. I think there's only one gas on there. <laughs> you need this one, just hold on to your car. Okay. What are you wanting to spin for today? What do I want? Gas. Gas? All right. Go ahead and spin. Let's see. Let's All right, see what we do. Come on. Give us gas. We want gas. Come on. Give us gas. How much gas is it anyway? 25. 25? Come on. It's like give four us gallons. Let's see. 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 Where's gas? Let's I don't see it. If we pass it. Entry, you're gonna entry get entry. It's gonna be a drawing. They're gonna explain entry. the drawing. Oh, okay. Also, do get a swag bag. Now, let me go ahead and explain these entries to you. Pretty cool. So, the bingo entry will give you a chance to win a $100 gift card to Tiffany & Co. Now, the poker drawing will go ahead and give you a chance to win a Gucci Aviator sunglasses. So, which one did you want to enter? Let's go with the of sunglasses. Course, all right. I don't think I want to go to Tiffany. Here you go. Alrighty, here you go. Now the drawing is going to take place tomorrow at 10 a.m. Uh, you do not have to I'll be, be here. asleep. Yeah, you do not have to be here. Therefore, uh, we will need a phone number. If you are with the winner, we'll go ahead and give you a call. Okay. Right, uh, make me a pirate for Halloween. All right, we didn't get the uh, gas like we wanted, but uh, we got a swag bag. I don't know what's in there. Something light. Policia times. All right, and they got a uh, front. What is that? Quenching refresh? We'll come back for that. I'm gonna go and check in. Because like I said, the wait looks like it's forever. So the room is extra crowded, every table taken, and mm, at least a several hour waiting list. So let's call Damon right now and just tell him, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the hotel. Call me <laughs> if ever a seat opens. Look at the traffic on the other side, it's terrible. It's like I said, it took forever to get here. Look at it still, there was a fatal accident where a semi slammed into the back of a van. So, and I think it was deadly. Oh, no shit, duh, fatal accident. Oy. All right, we got our room key. We're on the 17th floor, room 1715. In case you want to call and start some trouble, that's the room number I'll be in. <laughs> I heard the elevators are by the spa. It's a really nice uh, coffee shop right here, pink coffee. I love the decor of it. Very nice. All right, here's the pool. It sounds pretty good right now, actually. Here's their spa. And then, how's it going? Okay, and we just thought uh, in the future, I'll let you go, but you, you need to physically see that car. You can open it and look at it. All right, brother. Thank good, you. thank you, sir. Take care. Asshole. All right. All right. 1715 to 1716. So we should be here. Very short hallways. It's a very okay. There we are. 1715. Yeah. All right. We got one king size bed. Ouch. A bathroom. One sink. Boo. Nice shower. We got two heads up there, one removable, seating area, 
floor to ceiling, coffee maker, luggage rack, king size bed, gigantic TV. Look at that. I gotta lean back. That's how big the TV is. And this is our view of uh, mountainside and parking lot. And dirty ass windows. Complain to Damon about this. What kind of room is this? Somebody left that outside. Uh, yeah, so not bad. This is your uh, closet. I have no clean clothes left. I only packed for three days. Look at that cop out there. <laughs> I wonder what he's doing. You see that cop right there? Let me see if I can zoom in. What is he doing? Messing around with a lady cop. <laughs> In the middle of nowhere. Look at that. Uh, all right. I'm going to take all this off. Perfect. Let's see if they have uh, laundry service here. Oh, they got this nice little uh, pad thingy. Whatever that's called. The ghoul one. So it's a nice room, looks very nice, kind of Bellagio feel to it. The redone rooms at Bellagio kind of have this decor and vibe. Um, much nicer than Harrah's. Harrah's is a shithole hotel room. Let me see, it's very old. Do we have a fridge? Yes, we do. And it comes with water, I like it. I'm stick my warm coffee in there, and we're good to go. So we're gonna unpack. Just, I guess, watch some TV or something. Maybe go downstairs, play some Dollar Storm, and then just wait for Damon to call me uh, whenever poker opens up. They got a shuttle that'll take you from the front valet here to the uh, small casino. This is called Morongo Casino. The other one's called Casino Morongo. So they just switched the names around. Um, okay, no late checkout. Due to national labor shortage that affects us all, we are no longer available to offer late checkouts after 11 a.m. But Chango will do 12 if you call for a late checkout. Harrow's won't give you a late checkout anyway. They'll cost you. They go, Look at this. Between 11 and noon, so just one hour, they're going to charge you $50. Fuck them. I'm charge Damon. I ain't paying. <laughs> all right. Unpacking time. And hopefully we'll see you at the, either at Dollar Storm or at the uh, Poker Room. All right.